for his mission. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Just doing a little test here, guys, if you're just joining me. Our cows got out this morning. We just recently put in electric fencing. And this I'm live streaming. This morning, we found them over there in the neighbor's yard, way back over, over that way. Yeah. Let's see if I can maneuver around so you can see. And little lanes in there they've already cleared. This is all they, they're going to be eating right here. And you can see I've cleared lanes all the way around. to uh, put up the electric fencing. You can't see it in there. However, you might be able to go over here. You see the barrels? I have barrels down there. There's anchor points. That's one there. Bye -bye. That's the back corner. And... That's the, the paddock that we have for them to graze in. I'm not able to see my monitor right now, guys, so if you're joining me and um, you're speaking, I can't see you. <laughs> uh, this is kind of just a test. I hope I don't lose transmission here. <clears throat> Let's see what we got. There you guys go. I can see you now. Can you guys even hear me? Let me know if you can hear me in the chat. Um, <laughs> thought we were going for a helicopter ride, hey? SD card is full. It's almost like a helicopter ride. There's a camp up there. But as you can see, this is the, uh, the, the layout we have. back down, fly over, and let's come on down a little bit. Those bad little girls in there all huddled up right now in the uh, corral. They were out this morning running around on the neighbor's yard. They got out, went up that driveway 
and was all the way around to those trees that you see in the center of your screen. That's where they were. They were under that, that's a mango tree. <laughs> and they were having some mango leaves. So I had to go and wake up my neighbor and uh, request permission to retrieve the cows. And uh, they were really cool about it. He was like, handle your business, brah. It's all right. So there they are resting now. And I'll give you a little sweep of our camp. There's a couple of our tents there. There's our galley that I made with the uh, containers. And this, I'm just going to move over and see. Our solar. It's kind of a mess. <laughs> Uh, but it's camp. Alright, so let's... That's where we're going to put our um, Base X-305 military... There we go, we're back. Hi! So the Wi-Fi is just not great for, for doing this. We may be getting some interference uh, from the electronics. Here's my little landing pad. There we are. You see Micaiah the down there? Alright, so I gotta work on the um, the Wi-Fi for this thing. I don't know what if it's because of the metal boxes that I'm losing transmission. There you go. Yeah. So we're going to take a flight and see how good the transmission is for this. This is down to the back side of the property. around so you can see try not to hit them power lines property goes all the way over there and back around uh, to that tree right there in the center comes down all the way down this line right here to the road See in here all of the macadamia trees that are buried in the grass have to be cleared out. Girl, the girls, I guess, had a lot of exercise early this morning and are now tired. resting. Let's, let's go over and kind of take a peek at it. So this is the practical application of having a drone in a ranching operation. Hello, ladies. Oh, she's upset. She's like, what is that? What is that thing coming down on us? <laughs> You're okay. She's like, I'm not interested in that. She is not interested in the drone. That's Aloha, you see there with no ear tag, it just got up, first Lockenvelder, Dutch belted, born in Hawaii, so we named her Aloha. Yeah, she is, look how big she is, she is, she's getting almost as big as the heifers, as you can see that heifer that are standing up, she's almost as big as that heifer.
And Mama's laying down on the ground there. Enjoying the beautiful weather here in Hawaii. It's about 85 degrees right now. Where did that other girl go? What am I missing here? Is that five? One, two. Yeah, I can't tell if that's two on the ground behind, over there or if that's just one. It's two, so there's all five of them right there. I'm not able to see you guys uh, chat as I am uh, focused on flying. Darla's not here right now. She had to go to the chiropractor to get adjusted because she's uh, not feeling well with her back. Beautiful spread up on the hill there. That's a 20 acre lot over there that is being leased for cows. As our herd grows, I'll probably lease some of that land from, uh, I think his name is Mr. Yamamoto. He's a Japanese billionaire real estate man that owns a lot of land in Hawaii. Uh, this is a Japanese area. Uh, it was settled by Japanese in the sugarcane days. Um, it's very ideal. It is optimal for growing just about anything. Um, you get perfect rain, perfect weather, um, perfect sunshine. When I say perfect, I mean optimal, as in, you know, we, we obviously get rain. I'm not saying we don't get rain, and that's what perfect weather is. Perfect weather was you get the right amount of weather, the right amount of rain, right amount of sunshine. A little grainy there. Focus. I don't know what is going on with that focus. It's horrible. There it goes. I guess because I was too close to the lines. And that toward that way. If I go up enough, you could see the ocean. You see the horizon there. Can you, yeah, let's see if we can focus that. You can actually see the ocean. It's uh, in the horizon there. That is Hilo Bay. Yeah, this is so grainy. So we got a lot of work with on this. Uh, this is like the first time I've live streamed from the drone. Reception is not that great. So that's Hilo Bay there. And back toward that way is Pahoa. Wow, there's the picture. You see as people are growing everything you can think of here. Um, fruit trees. Um, orchids. Everything grows. It's so beautiful and green. The cows were all the way over there. All right, so I got a low battery. <laughs> Time to land, guys. Um, maybe we'll do this a little, a little later. Uh, I gotta figure out the bugs.
about 17 minute flight time on this uh, battery. We'll see you guys in the next Landing. flight.